As the countdown to Christmas continues, it wouldn't be complete without the twinkly lights, tinsel and trimmings. In the UK, around 7 million Christmas trees are sold each year. And here in York, one local business has fast become one of the city's largest growers. I think we planted the first trees here in 1998 and I remember I planted 2,000 a year and that was the sort of early stage and then it would have been 2006 we made the decision that we were going to gear it up a bit more. We went to planting sort of 12, 15,000 a year which is what we're harvesting now and then uh, two years ago we decided we'd try and make it slightly bigger again and that was when we went up to 20,000. But this year hasn't been without its challenges. We've never really had a summer as hot and dry as this. It's been quite interesting in terms of how it's affected the tree business. There's a few things you don't fully realise straight away. We use a lot of prilled fertiliser to get the colour right on the trees. We spread that on the fields in April and there's no rain to wash it in. It's not been without its issues. We, we've escaped the worst of the problems. I mean, there's other growers elsewhere in the UK who've had significant losses of trees. The Growers Association has around 330 members and they are committed to evolving not only to the needs of the people, but for the needs of the environment as well. You'd have to have an artificial tree for 12 to 14 years to have a lower carbon footprint than a real tree. The key element is how the tree is treated after it's been purchased. So the worst thing appears to be that it goes into landfill. If it can be composted, chipped, mulched, that's a very positive contribution. So in terms of the tree lifestyle, well, buy one locally because then you're not traveling as far to it. Make sure it's a local grown and it's freshly cut so it's in good condition and then get it recycled. The association keep up to date with the current issues that need addressing in the UK and further afield. Um, Single-use plastic is a big issue for the globe, you know, for the world as a whole. We use plastic netting. It's widespread in the industry. There are a number of alternatives we've looked at. The string wrapping systems. There are a few people that have looked for packaging newspapers and magazines at a starch-based cover so we looked at that but we're working in the field in the wet in the cold in the middle of winter and actually it's quite a rigorous process it's quite a, aggressive to the packaging so the starch based hasn't worked but we are looking but with brexit on the horizon how is this going to affect the local christmas tree growers there's still a substantial number of trees get imported into the UK, but there are certain species and things that it's easier, there's better climates in Europe, so they'll always be brought in and grown. I don't think we'll ever get to 100% self-sufficiency. Some people are saying, yes, it's a big opportunity, but it, the leaders in this industry are the Danish growers. They're the ones that pioneered it, made it work. We'll always trade with them. You know, we've traded before the EU, we traded with Europe, and we will trade with them after. With 75 acres and over 140,000 Christmas trees to harvest, even after the festive season is over, this local business will continue to grow for the future. Abby Walker, That's TV.